welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life and today I'm going to do an updated homeschool room tour. So we've been in this house since the end of March um, and I did a, another homeschool room tour um, not too long after we moved in and um, we have been kind of moving things around and getting things kind of where we want to. We've been back to school now since the, I think the third week of July. So we have had to make a few changes, had to kind of shift some things around. So today this is just gonna be an updated uh, homeschool room tour. Okay, so the first thing that we have done is we've added this rug under our table. And I think I mentioned in the previous uh, homeschool room tour that we were probably gonna do that. We really love it. We got this rug at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. Another thing that we've done is we've added a bulletin board over here just so that we can put our um, science vocabulary on here. We're doing the Good and the Beautiful Safety Unit right now and this just kind of gave me a place to put kind of your word wall because um, we really didn't have a place to do that. At our other house, I would actually put these on our sliding glass door um, but I would have had to do that, kind of put those on the windows here. And really didn't want to do that and I also from Hobby Lobby I got this uh, one of those little word things um, and so we have a, a verse up here this is the day the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it so we can change the letters on that whenever we want to probably the biggest change that we have made is we took our whiteboard down um, we had I think it was 36 inches by 24 inches this one is um, 36 inches by 48 inches. For some reason, the camera does not want to focus on this whiteboard. But um, we also used to have it on this wall here. And so I changed the, um, I put the wall hanging on this wall. And because I, ha I used to have our um, dry, dry erase board there, but this cart that I have was just kind of in the way. And also I really wanted Sophie to be able to stand at the whiteboard and be able to write her spelling words and things like that. And so this one is big enough that it can be low enough where she can reach it. Um, and also um, we don't have a cart in front of it, just kind of making it a little bit more inaccessible. We also added um, this above, it says let all that you do be done in love. We got that at Hobby Lobby and I like that. Um, it kind of matches the other wall hanging that we got at Hobby Lobby that we originally had in here. We just had it on the wall where we now have our whiteboard. And we still have the same cart. That's just our homeschool supplies. So on here we have our printer. And then this box that I use for Sophie's language arts and then her math manipulatives. I just bring that to the table every day. This is where we put our completed work, and then we also have some um, computer paper, some graph paper and notebook paper, and then our computer and a little supply box, and then like our router and stuff like that is down there, and just um, some other supplies that we keep. We did add a little cork board of the United States. It's like a little, um, it's like a little bulletin board um, type of thing, so we can put pins in there if we visit places, and so I'm excited to use that with Sophie. Okay, this is our homeschool um, table, and this is the same table, same chairs. Um, we still have our supplies in this little caddy in the middle of the table. Okay, and over here, this is our um, big bookshelf. These are from Ikea, and they are attached to the wall and also to each other. We got these lights from Hobby Lobby and we just kind of strung those across the top. They're battery powered, so you can just turn them on and off right there, but um, my girls really like those. And what we have done, we've just kind of rearranged our shelves a little bit more where we know where everything is. Um, so we've got our laminator here with Henry, our skeleton, um, and we still have this, um, this thing that a friend gave us. I got these boxes, um, these wooden boxes at Home Goods, and um, I'm keeping in this one extra math manipulative, so it's a little bit cleaner, nothing sticking out of the top. Um, and these are Ray Dunn boxes. This one says Inspire, and this has all of our Good and the Beautiful art, you know, watercolor, all of those types of materials in there. And then here we have our art supplies and um, some 
drawing books that I'm going to use with Sophie. And then these are just extra supplies like laminating sheets and page protectors and extra notebooks and construction paper, just stuff like that. And then on these two shelves, I have games and um, I've got like some letters and some um, like a periodic table kit under here. And then down here, I've got some things for Sophie, some drawing supplies and some different maps. And then I also have like um, kinetic sand and Play-Doh. And then our center shelf, we have another sign that a friend gave us, our microscopes. And then here we've got the safety um, supply kit for the labs. And then these are some science units that we're not doing right now. And then this is just some extra materials, just extra curriculum that we're not using yet. Um, and this is like the second half of Sophie's math curriculum that we're not, we're going to use this year, but not right now. And then I rearranged our books because I found that I just wasn't able to find anything. So this shelf is Christmas and Thanksgiving books, like holiday books. And then this shelf here is, um, these are just some references that we have. Um, primarily the, the ones on this shelf are history and geography. And then on the bottom shelf, I have also have references, but those are primarily science. We have another one of the Ray Dunn boxes. Actually, both of those two little boxes say create, but I have the other one turned around. And this one just has extra um, supplies in it. And then on this shelf, these are books that Katie is reading in some curriculum this year, whether it's history or language arts, her calculators and things like that. And these are our portfolios. This is where we keep um, examples of our work um, that we are required to keep under South Carolina state law. So I have one for each girl and I have one for every year of homeschooling. So that I'll talk about that in another video, but that's what those are. And then this is the curriculum we are currently using. So Sophie has a binder with a lot of her math um, things in there from the good and the beautiful level one. And this is what she uses every single day. This is all of her curriculum that we use every day. And then this is some extra stuff and some things we don't use quite as much like a nature journal and some art and one of her science units that we haven't started yet. And then I also use this Dick and Jane storybook collection with her. And then Katie's, well, I have some of her history supplies here. This is French math and, um, and science. Those three classes are online. So she primarily has notebooks for that uh, rather than textbooks. This is her notebook that she uses and then this whole box is for her language arts so all of that is language arts and these are all the units that she's not doing right now um she's in unit one right now for the good and beautiful language arts year two and then these are all novels um that we have read at some point or katie has read and then this, this next shelf these are leveled readers um collections like this is um Shakespeare and the Magic Tree House. And then the rest of these books over here are for Sophie and some of them focus on history, some of them focus on science, and some of them are just children's literature. And on this final shelf down here, I have more leveled readers. These are some that I have taken out for Sophie for this year that I believe will be the right level for this year. And then some of some of the things that I use with Sophie with school and then Katie's um, good and the Beautiful Geography and um, the other cards that come with that, like poetry. And then on this wall, we still have our little art wall. We haven't added any new art at this time, but that's where we're going to display art. And now on the very top of this, I have moved our painting of the world there. I've moved it over here, and then we still have our globe. And I need to get something for the other side, just kind of balance that out, but I haven't done that yet. So at some point I'll probably do that. But this is our new and improved homeschool room. So I'm really happy with it because on the shelves, I kind of know more where all the books are. Just makes it easier for me. And um, also it's more functional with the science, um, the ability to put our science rules on a bulletin board because we really had nowhere to put that in here. And then probably the main thing that I'm really excited about is actually this whiteboard because I feel like this will be really useful for Sophie just to have her be able to write things, um, you know, on the board. Little kids always like to write on a dry erase board. So that is our new and improved homeschool room. 
hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Love changes everything.